Welcome to Seedprod. In this video, I wanted to show you how to take complete control over your header, templates, and WordPress by using Seedprod. If you don't have Seedprod, you can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And we also have videos and documentation on how to install and get started with Seedprod if you like. I already have it installed and we're using the pro version in this video. I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna come back to my WordPress dashboard here. On the left-hand side, I have Seedprod right here. And to get started, let's go to the theme builder. This is where we can build out our complete website. And the fastest way to get started on a fresh website is by going to theme template kits. Now here we can select a pre-made website and it'll import all of the theme templates that we need. Along with these comes all of the custom headers for each one of these themes. So for example, here's one called Life Coach. And you can preview this beforehand. And you can see that this has a very nice layout for a logo if you want to use this. By doing so, you'll import the whole website. So let's go ahead and we'll click this one. And there you go. You can see that all the theme templates were imported for this theme template kit. We want to make sure that this theme is enabled in the top right corner. You might get a couple pop-ups here. Just confirm those and you should be good to go. Let's visit the front page. And here we can see our new website that we just imported with all of the pages. Home, about, services, and contact. We have the search, some social links here, and the logo in the header. So if you want to modify this, we simply look for the header template. If you don't see it on the first page, there might be a second page here. And there we go, we can find this right here. Let's go to edit design. And this will open up your header file here. You can see it's exactly the same here. Some templates might have multiple headers. This one I believe just has the one. So here, for example, we have our logo. And this is just using the image block. We can see the image on the left hand side. And we can delete this and upload our own. So you can use the upload file section to do that, or I've already done so with a logo here. I'll select the seed prod logo. It's just the icon, we'll select that. And we'll modify the size here to bring that down a little bit. I'll do 50 width. You can change the alignment, the custom link, all of that, all those features are here. We also have the social buttons here, so you can modify those and just go through the settings. So if you don't want LinkedIn, you can remove that. If you don't want Facebook, you could add different ones here. So for example, we have Facebook, and maybe Instagram. And you can completely customize this, the style, the look, the size, the alignment. There's different templated versions of these. For example, if you want some colored ones or a different shape, you can go ahead and do that. Here we have our menu. And I have a video on how to create custom menus using Seedprod. So you can check that video on the Seedprod channel if you like. Now we can use the simple or the WordPress menu. And that other video goes in depth with how to do that with WordPress. We'll just keep this as simple for now. And you can add and remove these the same way that you did with the social buttons here. We have the search as well with some customization options here with your icon, the text and the button, the alignment and the size. Once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and save this. And we just simply refresh our homepage. And there you go, it's completely updated to how you wanted it to look and feel. Now let's try a different technique here. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and delete this. And now it's completely gone. We can create one from scratch if you like by adding columns. So you can select your layout here. So for example, if you just want something more simple, we have two columns here, a smaller one on the left. We can change the sizing of this if we wish by resize column. I'll just drag this over a little bit and let's get our logo in here. We have two blocks for this. You can use the site logo. There's a video on the YouTube channel about that if you want to go more in depth. Or you can keep it simple by using the image block here. I can drag and drop this in, select, use your own image. And again, we'll just select that same logo that we had earlier. And I'll make this smaller. Let's align that to the left side so it's up against the corner of the box. And let's get a menu in here. So I'll just simply select the blocks, search for menu. We have nav menu, and I'll drop that on the right side. Again, we're using the simple menu here, but we can just add more elements if you like, and we can align that to the far right side. You can change the font size if you want it a little bigger. The space between, you can add a divider if you like. And under advanced, there's all types of options for the topography, text color, hover color, and you can change the colors in our global CSS as well. So there's a global style sheet that you can use back where the theme template files are, or you can modify it on a block level right here if you like. Let's go ahead and select our section right here. You can change the background color if you wish. So I'll just pick a random color and save this. If we refresh, you can see that that's completely updated with the new header that we created. Now that doesn't look very good. We can just change this back to the white and you'll see that the alignment's a little bit off here. Let's go ahead and select the row and we have vertical alignment here. Let's select middle and now everything is perfectly aligned on this axis across here. Let's go ahead and save that and again refresh and you can see that that looks great. Looked like there was a little bit of shadow on the old one. So if you want to add that back, just select the section here and we'll come under advanced and we have shadow right here. We can go ahead and add different sizes. I'll do maybe a two times large We'll save, refresh, and you can see that there's now the shadow across here that pops off the page. Great, let's look at another way on how to create your header. I'll delete this one. 
And instead of creating it from scratch, again, you can use sections. And we have header right here. Now we have three simple options here for you to use. Let's go ahead and try header three. And this just puts your logo at the top and you have a block here for your menu. Select your menu. We can just do simple again, just to keep this quick and easy. And you can modify these however you wish again. Change the font size. We can come up to the top. We can get more advanced options here. So under topography, maybe you want to have everything uppercase. You can bring the size down a little bit if you wish. You can change the line height or the letter spacing. Whatever you think looks good and you're happy with. Once you are happy with that, go ahead and save. You can change your logo again. Refresh. There you go. You have a head start with the sections that you just imported as well. Okay, great. Let's close out of here and let's find our header template. I think it was on the second page here. And let's just completely delete this. So now we don't have a header template at all. So if we refresh, you can see that that is completely gone. So here's how we create one from scratch if needed. You can just simply add a new theme template and you can call this header and the type would be header. Now the priority doesn't matter unless you have multiple headers in different locations and you might need to prioritize one over another. The better way is to use conditions to tell Cprod where to show this specific template. You have many options here to either include or exclude this template and then you can select where. So for example, you could create a custom header that only shows on your blog, for example. So you would say include on blog, and you could call this maybe blog header. But the most common one is, of course, to show it on your entire website. Let's go ahead and save this. And now you'll be brought into the drag and drop page builder of Cprod. And again, we would just go ahead and create our header exactly the same way that we did before. So for example, you could import one or you could create a custom one from scratch. I'll just import this one. We'll use the simple menu. I'll change my logo here quickly. I'll import this, change the size. We'll make sure the alignment is good and maybe add a little bit of that shadow again. So here we did the two times large and you could change your call to action button here with the text, the link, etc. Again, you can fully customize this and add whatever you wish. This is how you would create your header template from scratch. Again, make sure if you're creating it from scratch that it is published. This is a little bit of a gotcha for new users. So if you refresh, you'll see that it won't show. So we just need to make sure that it is published right here. And to know if something is published or not, you can come back and here you can see header and it says draft right beside it. So make sure you just go into the template itself and the pull down here and publish it. Let's go ahead and you can see the live page. This is just the home page. We can refresh and see that header that you just created from scratch. So here next, the last thing I'll show you is just a quick way of having two different headers function on your website. So here, if we go under pages, we actually have a blog page here. We can go ahead and view this. So here we can see our blog post. We have one post here, just the default one, but we're using the default header here. So there's a couple ways that we could do this, but we can just go ahead and create a new template. Let's come back to seed prod theme builder and add a new theme template. Again, we'll do header and I'll call this one blog and type is header. And here we can go include and we'll just include this on the blog page. Now this priority is set to 20 along with the default header. So to make this one show above the default, you could do 21, any number that is higher than the other one. Or another option would be to exclude the blog page on the default header. So let's go ahead and save this and I'll just import a completely different header here. We'll add a simple menu. We'll just save this. Let's change the background so it's very obvious that this is different and we'll just save this. Let's make sure it's published and there you go. So here we can see the default header and we don't want that. So let's just close some windows here. So this is a little bit more clear and we'll exit out of here. So let's just look at what we did. We have a default header here that's appearing on the entire site. So this includes the blog page and we gave it a priority of 20. We also have the second header, which is for the blog, but it only is included on the blog page. However, it has the same priority as this one. So it's competing for the priority here. So for example, if we go into edit conditions for this one, put this up one, save this and refresh, you'll see the header blog. The other way to do this is to edit the conditions and we can put this down to the same and save this. And then instead of using the priority, we can use the conditions themselves. So we can use edit conditions, include on the entire site. However, we want to exclude this on the blog page. So here we go, save. And now if we refresh, you'll see we see the header for the blog page. So those are the two ways you can either use the priority to do so or the conditions. Personally, I think the conditions make a little bit more sense and it's a little bit more clear. So there we go. Now we have our blog page header and then we have a separate one for our front page. So you can see that this will work on every other page. And then of course we have our blog one. So this is a great way to make flexible headers for different parts of your website. A common thing as well is to have a big hero image here 
and you'll have a header that is sitting on top of that. And it wouldn't look good on sub pages such as your blog page. So a lot of times you'll have a custom header just for your front page and then the rest of your website might have a default header that you could show. And you could just use the techniques that you learned in this video to customize that and enable that. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.